Hey guys, it's Brad. So, had a really, really great uh, bench session this day. Um, probably because I had Derek on the big screen working out with me. His channel is uh, called Osiris. Uh, I'll link to him in the description. I'll just tag him. You can click on it and go check out his channel. Um, he's got a, a crew that he works out with in a parking lot in California. And they keep all of their gear in a Connex or a shipping container. They just show up, open the container, get the gear out, start putting in work. Um, I'm speeding through my uh, rotator cuff stuff here. That doesn't mean it's not important. Uh, I just do 10 of each, each arm, and then three rounds of that to get warmed up. Then on um, bench day, I switch to the bar and I do 10 reps with just the bar in wide grip, narrow grip, and then my competition grip. So that's just 30 reps with just the bar. And uh, the first five of each 10 I do as like a paused rep, and then the second five I do as touch and go or faster. And I think you just saw that. Um, now I think I'm switching to uh, narrow grip. I actually forgot to film my competition grip because I got up, I did wide grip, narrow grip, got up, and then I was like, oh, I forgot to do comp grip. Anyways, so uh, back to Derek. Um, he has a crew that he works out with in a parking lot. I already said that. They have a Connex or shipping container for you civilians um, where they keep all of their gear, break it out, and then they also have pull-up bars uh, bolted to the side of the Connex, which is pretty cool. He also has a pretty cool home gym setup. Um, I think he has the T2, maybe the X2 Titan rack. Um, and, you know, he, he, he's, he does squat, bench, deadlift, uh, and all the other stuff too. Um, he, he used to be really good at ring dips. I haven't seen him do those in a while. Uh, we'll have to check in and see where he is on those. Um, but Derek's a good dude. You probably see him commenting on all of my videos. So head over there and check him out. So for uh, the... I'm going to talk about my programming and how I set this up for squat, bench, deadlift, snatch, and uh, clean and jerk at the end of this week. I'm going to go over my program. Um, but essentially, you're going to start to see a pattern... Uh, it's also really easy to think that I'm already completely healed. I am not completely healed, even though I crushed this bench day. Uh, but this earthquake style training uh, on the bench press has helped me tremendously get back to where I need to be. And I think I worked up to um, 185 pounds. And you see that. Look at that. Look at that instability. That is so awesome. And it is training those, it's training a lot of stuff that I ignored previously. And you're going to see the results of just a few weeks of this uh, here when I start working up. What was I saying? Oh, it, it's, it's really easy to think that, my, that I'm completely healed. It's only 10 and a half weeks since I had surgery to repair a complete rupture of my distal biceps tendon on my dominant arm. I know all my regulars are tired of hearing that, um, but I, I think it's important that I keep saying that because even myself, I start to think that I'm not injured anymore, but I promise you there are things I still can't do. And when I start to think I'm not injured anymore, my arm reminds me sometimes that I still am. Now, on pressing movements, the, the worst part is lockout at the top. So I have to be very controlled. Um, the pressing movement does not put pressure on the biceps tendon unless um, I'm shaky in my lockout or I do so, I lock out too hard. Um, but yeah, this I think my bench press is the lift that has come back the quickest. So I thought previously um, five reps at 185 was my uh was what i've done since surgery and you saw that i worked up with the earthquake style bench to 185 then did my competition bench 
and I'm doing pause presses, you'll see I pause for probably half a second at the bottom of the lift before I press. Started at 185 and then started building by tens. Uh, well, fives on each side. And I thought, I, and I didn't know where I was at this point. I had to count the weight afterwards. I took my shirt off because I was having some issues with my setup. My shirt was too big and I was sliding around the bench. Anyways, this is 255 pounds. So, uh, I mean, and, and you're gonna, you're, you'll see how it moves here in just a second. And I didn't know how much it was when I was under it. Again, I just kept adding five pounds to each side to get my eight reps. And then um, that was an extremely, extremely clean uh, 255. Yeah, you see my little celebration there. And even after I counted it, I was like, I, I can't believe I just hit that. That was incredible. Uh, I'm going to get to 315 this year. This is the... Uh, supplementary support or accessory movement uh, I'm doing five sets of five with that keep training and I'll see you in the next video